The summer term at Collison Grammar School is always a productive and exciting time for our students. Despite the business of public examinations, the dedicated staff continue to provide opportunities to enrich the curriculum and enhance enjoyment of life at school. From whole school events such as our recent World War One Day, to creative projects led by our enthusiastic sixth form, we continue to be proud of the energy and creativity that thrives in our school community. The uh, Year 7 Residential takes place in the first week after half term. It's a three day event where the year group is split into half, Ash and Beach, Cedar and Oak. They get to mix up, get away from the school. Um, it takes place at the Adventure Centre down at Kelly College on the western uh, edge of Dartmoor. Uh, pupils arrive, they get thrown into activities quite quickly. A uh, mixture of events such as uh, high ropes course, problem solving activities, a bit of canoeing, kayaking. Um, really good fun, pupils enjoy it. Uh, there's a certain element of getting out onto the moor, uh, hike away up to Nuns Cross Farm, which is uh, an interesting experience, which they all remember, getting back to basics. So it's all about getting them outside their comfort zone, mixing with different students, having a test of their communication skills, teamwork to a degree, a bit of leadership involved in, in, in some areas there, but bottom line, it's all about getting the whole year group out of school uh, and enjoying themselves. So it's a really good experience, really beneficial. And uh, this year, for one of the first years, for a long time, we've got every student involved, which was great to see. <laughs> This term we took Year 7 down to the Axe Estuary Wetlands to investigate the different habitats and the wildlife that lives there. They had great fun pond dipping with the sweep nets, digging up worms and investigating the life in the stream and what the water quality was. They particularly loved the pond dipping and found all sorts of different creatures including newts, dragonfly larvae, pond skaters. It's great to have a chance to get out of the classroom and help the Year 7s really understand the habitats that exist around them. Over the past few months we've been trialling significant changes we've made to our network. These will allow students to write their own code and start to explore computer languages like Python. So how have we done it? Well the first thing we did was to create a virtual network. This runs inside our standard network but safeguards it and it means students can now create code and run it but can't accidentally corrupt any system files. Now this took a while but I think it's going to be worth it in the long term because we can now allow students to code creatively without any limitations using a Python editor and also output to hardware devices using dedicated software. A number of sixth formers and students in years 7 and 8 have helped trial this system to develop it for use during lessons. The second element we've developed was allowing students to control external devices, in particular the Raspberry Pi, which is a credit card sized computer that can be plugged into a computer monitor. To do this we created a wireless system. This allows the Pis to communicate with the workstation and students can now connect to Pi and program it. During the summer, Year 8 have started using this system for the first time and it's proven reliable. Next term we'll start a computing GCSE and also have a coding club for students who are keen to explore coding during lunch hours. I organised this project because ever since I was in Year 7 there's always been a lot of focus within the school on encouraging students with talents in music as well as in other areas to sort of come forward and show off what they can do. I think it's a really good experience for students, particularly lower down in the school, to be able to be involved in something different. This term I've been part of organising a charity CD project. Um, this involved getting students from year 8 all the way up to year 13 to um, come up with their own songs and write their own music. We then recorded it using new software and equipment in the music department and with the help of Mr House and Ms Taylor and a various other staff members. All of this music was produced and then turned into a CD which we were able to sell for the charity Beat. It was also really nice to do a CD because it was something that parents and relatives and friends could buy and keep um, and so in, in years to come they'll be able to see what they were doing at school and, and look back on it hopefully. This term, Year 8, have been exploring the coastal processes and management along the Jurassic Coast here in uh, Devon and Dorset and they've been trying to answer really big questions such as what's the best way to manage the coastline at places like Pennington Point in Sidmouth just down the coast, 
to the west um, and also trying to answer big questions such as uh, you know how do uh, processes of erosion and deposition and transportation impact the coastline at places like West Bay in Dorset and also further along the, the coast and basically trying to improve their observational skills, their fieldwork skills uh, in order to study and learn about this globally important coastline. Yeah, the way it works, grab the straps, that's it, shin in, put it in your head. Back in March I attended a conference in London on why schools should mark the centenary of the First World War and it really inspired me to want to come back and put together a big event that was going to pull together all aspects of the school community and for me that was one of um, the biggest successes of the event. First of all teaching staff were asked to come up with a series of activities um, that students could opt in for and we had a really enthusiastic response and the buzz on the day, the enthusiasm, the way that sixth formers were helping younger students within the sessions was something that everyone's commented on. And the other aspect of the community that really got involved was parents donating to Mrs Burns Price's Field Hospital in the library, which was of a better standard to most museums I've been to, and attending the concert in the evening, giving their full support to that, was something that hopefully we can repeat in future whole school events like this. We just wanted to make sure that whenever students hear about the First World War, they remember what it was about and the sacrifices that were made and hopefully they will also support their own local community events that are held this year to commemorate the centenary. <laughs>